Hello there, and welcome back to Coffee Break Blogging. My name is David Risley. We're going to do a pit stop episode today. Now, the pit stop episodes are ones that we do periodically because this is a seven-stage process that we're going through with Coffee Break Blogging. I've said that this is not just a standard podcast. It's actually a course. We just happen to do it in the podcast format. And at the outset here, the first many episodes of Coffee Break Blogging, we are going through a seven-stage process of building an online business. And we're starting from scratch, and we're building it up to profitability. And we're doing this based around blogging, because that's what we do at the Blog Marketing Academy. I focus on blog monetization. So, Let's do a quick review of where we stand uh, with the whole pit stop because we are about to end off stage three and move into stage four. Now, if you back up to stage one of this seven stage process, that is the foundation. And with the foundation, that's where we're talking about the niche that we are going to be operating in, our customer avatar, identifying the solution. It really comes down to identifying that product market fit that you will find on the blog monetization model that we use over at the Blog Marketing Academy. So that's what we do with stage one. And there were many episodes back in the beginning of Coffee Bake Blogging where we covered all the stage one material. Then we went into stage two, which was all about platform. This is where we actually talked about setting up the blog, choosing proper web hosting, getting pillar content created, uh, setting up landing pages, things like that. Basically, we were talking about the actual setup of your blog and setting it up in the right structure. And also, we want, we want there's our ways to go deeper with that. We have an action plan over inside the Blog Monetization Lab, and that you can find that at blogmonetizationlab.com, by the way. But we have an action plan in there called the Perfect Blog Blueprint. And the entire purpose of that action plan is to walk you through, component by component, your various blog pieces. And we're talking about things like categories, your sidebar, your header, things like that, and how to structure them in the ideal way from a conversion perspective. And that's in the perfect blog blueprint. And you'll find that for members of the blog monetization lab. Now from stage two, we went into stage three, which is the one that we're wrapping up right now. And that was all about your email list and email marketing. And in the last many episodes, we've talked about various pieces of email marketing. We've gone back to Let's see, where were we? We got started in episode 69 of this podcast is where we started it. And we went into how to get your email list hosting right and stuff like that. Then we went into creating the perfect lead magnet with episode 70 and part two was 71. 72, we went into how to get more opt-ins to your email list. And then we went into how to do opt-in forms inside your blog post and how to create squeeze pages with episode 74. We went into creating blog opt-in forms and and how and the tools for creating squeeze pages. That one was in episode 76. Uh, then we talked about the perfect opt-in confirmation page. And then we went into creating autoresponder sequence emails. And that was with episode 78. And we went into that also in 79. And it goes right on through. Episode 80, we talked about the one blog, one list strategy and whether that really works or not. We went into how to find good material to send to your email subscribers, and we did that in episode 81. And then we just go through how how to use webinars to build the list. We talked about that in 83. Uh, The last one, 85, we talked about the death of the email blast and really got into the uh, idea that we live in a world where we need to segment our email list, and we did talk about list segmentation. And that brings us up to episode 86, which is where we're at today, where we're about to end off this particular phase, concentrating on email marketing and move into stage four, which is going to be about traffic building. Now, just to give you a little bit of a look moving forward, stage five is going to be about delivery. That comes down into areas like actually making things to sell, setting up your sales funnels, creating products, things like that. That's where that's this is where the real monetization is going to come in is in stage 5. And then stage 6 is growth. This is where we take what we already have, something that we have a proven concept at this point and we're just tweaking it and we're increasing conversions and we might be doing some 
split testing maybe and uh you know things like that that will be in stage six and then stage seven will be expansion this is how we move it beyond ourselves get into joint ventures things like that now what comes after the seven stage process when it comes to this podcast well as of now, I'm not planning on stopping the podcast after we get through all seven stages. We'll probably, because believe me, there's a lot of stuff in this business we could talk about. So I think the course will just continue at that point, and uh, it just might not be all aligned around the seven stages. So that's kind of what we're doing here with the podcast, um, and um, so far, it's it's going pretty well. In fact, I've got a few iTunes reviews that have come in recently, and I thought I would just kind of mention it because we don't talk too much about iTunes reviews here. I probably should do it more, but uh, let, let go back to like Karina. Uh, she was saying, easy to listen, and David goes right to the point. The content is very helpful, and I've learned things I've always wanted to. Can't stop listening to his ideas and advice. Thank you so much, David. So thank you, Karina. Uh, another one, the username here is the Bob speak man. Hey, Bob. He says, love it. Fit these awesome tips in where you have the time. Love the quality over quantity approach. And yeah, I mean, in terms of quantity, I don't know how often some of the other podcasts that you might listen to come out, but coffee break blogging does come out twice a week, almost always on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And each one is maybe, you know, 15 minutes in length. Tops. I mean, sometimes they go a little bit over. Generally, they come in less than that, actually. But I'm not doing this in order to uh, come out with just a bunch of length. The whole idea here is to keep it very tactical, very on point, uh, and come out twice a week. That's kind of like my shtick here. All right. Um, next, it was, uh, it was a K1 La B. That's some username here, but. Whoever, whatever your real name is, thank you very much. She says, this is basically an entire course plus more. And yeah, that's the exact point. You know, when I started up this podcast, I didn't want to just be another podcast. I mean, most podcasts out there just do nothing but reviews periodically, The or sorry, uh, nothing but interviews. And periodically, the host will come in and they will do something instructional. But most of their episodes are just interviews. And that's great. But the thing is, there are other ways to do a podcast. And this is one of them. I wanted to do something that wasn't just another podcast that would just blend into the scenery. I wanted to actually do something that had more structure to it. And that's why Coffee Break Blogging really is a course. It's a full course on building an online business. We just happen to do it twice a week and via the podcast medium. I also want to send out a thank you to Jennifer Weiner. She says, I've been in and out of the blogging space for several years now, and I always keep up with David Risley. This podcast is amazing for quick things you can do right now to improve your business. I listened to several episodes today and finally got a few ideas for a lead magnet. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm preparing a new blog website for launch, and finding these ideas has been a huge pain point for me. Thanks, David, for all the awesome info. Great. I'm really, really happy now that, uh, with that. Now, Jennifer, she does say, I'm preparing a new blog website for launch. My only comment there would be, don't get stuck in the loop of preparation because I've seen a lot of people who put, they, they, they're they constantly preparing to launch their blog. I just realized, like my grandfather used to tell me when I was a kid, the only surefire way not to catch a fish is not to have your hook in the water. So don't get too um, worked up over the preparing part, and let's just get that blog out there. Because we also got to keep in mind that at the outset, really not very many people, if any, are going to see that blog. So let's get it out on the internet. Let's start working on that content, and let's not get stuck in a loop of constantly preparing. Okay? So thank you very much for that review, Jennifer. Um, so... To wrap this up, like I said, we are ending stage three in our overall process, and we're going to be moving into stage four, which is going to be traffic building. Now, we're going to be talking about how to build traffic to our blogs, and we're going to be talking about it from the perspective of what works today, which means unlike a lot of blog training out there that concentrates primarily on syndication, uh, guest blogging, and stuff like that, now we are going to be talking about that stuff. 
but we are also going to be talking about things like retargeting and a little bit of paid traffic here. Because in this day and age, I believe that you need to be running some paid traffic to amplify your uh, your organic traffic. It's It really is a two-pronged thing, and it's going to be really difficult for a lot of bloggers to really um, grow their sites without it taking a really, really long time unless they're set up in such a way to be able to do paid traffic. So we are going to be talking about some paid traffic as well as some quote-unquote free traffic generation methods. And we'll be doing that on the next many, many episodes here of Coffee Break Blogging coming up. Now about that point that I just made with regard to you need to be able to run some paid traffic, I'll end off with this. I'm going to give you a call to action at the end of this webinar. Good marketing, right? All right. So I want to direct you over to a webinar that I am delivering now. It's called, it's about blog monetization. And you can find it at blog monetization webinar. What we're going to be talking about in that webinar is how to structure your blog in such a way that you can actually grow it and generate revenue as things sit today. And a one big part of that is the ability to be able to run paid traffic. Now, a lot of people come into this with an instinct that I can't possibly do paid traffic. I'm not making any money yet, so how could I possibly afford that? Uh, you know, or that seems complicated to me. I'd rather just tweet all day, you know, whatever you might be thinking. Here's the thing. In this day and age, as I just said, you need to be able to run paid traffic in order to be competitive competitive in order to reliably and sustainably be able to grow your business. And the what, the only way to be able to do that without losing money is to have your blog structured in the right way so that you can do paid traffic at the very least at break even. Ideally, you'd be making money on that traffic. So if you spend $1 on traffic, you want to make back at least $1. If if you make back more than a buck, even better, right? So that structure is exactly what we're going to be talking about on that webinar, blogmonetizationwebinar.com. So I highly encourage you to reserve a seat if you haven't been on that webinar yet and Chances are most of you haven't because this is a new webinar that I just started delivering. Um, and I look forward to having you on that webinar. And the last one that I just did this last Thursday, I had several people from the podcast, from right here from Coffee Break Blogging, that were on that webinar. So if you were there, thanks so much for coming. Hope you found it valuable. And for everybody else, if you have not been on that webinar yet, I encourage you to jump on board. It's totally free training, okay? Blog Monetization Webinar. Dot com. Okay, hope you enjoyed this little pit stop episode as we transition into stage four of traffic building. I'll see you on the next episode where we'll get started doing just that. See you soon.